What up, I snag? What up, I snag? Ice snag. I hate doing this crap, but with taking a vacation to California, it being the dog days of summer, not being able to get out as much as I'd like, I have got no footage of fish on film to make a video, but I do want to give a very non-biased opinion and kind of update on how the Bonafide SS107 has performed for me on the river, why I chose it compared to other 10 foot boats and just be as honest and non-biased as possible. The pros, the cons, the possible breakdowns or what I feel won't last, but I'm sure Bonafide will replace over as time progresses. So we're gonna get into that right now. Before we continue guys, I wanna make it be known, I am not a Bonafide fanboy. I am not all gung-ho over them like that they're the best ever. I'm gonna put them to the test. In this video, you're gonna see, I've only used the product or the boat for probably four kayak trips. I see some places where I think it's gonna fail sooner than later. I wanna talk about it. It's a damn good boat, but there is some shortcomings. I'll talk about them, and um, we're gonna talk about everything. From Next was the factory slip padding, or this padding, whatever they call it. <clears throat> it was awesome. I liked how it, um, was included with the kayak. You don't have to go buy it like you can for some of the other models. They make like SeaDeck, I believe, is a company that makes them. These came stock on the boat from the factory. Um, it's got one up here to keep your paddle quiet whenever you're setting it down. And it's got them all here to kind of cushion your feet whenever you're standing, keep it quiet so you're not knocking on the wood. Um, it's got one over here, which I did stand on this above that, which is pretty cool whenever I took it out to test drive it. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about the next thing. Next thing, piggybacking on this deck padding would be just the overall open deck design of the boat. I personally hate boats with a cockpit in between your legs. Now this is right here, yes, but you know, when you're sitting in the high seat, your knees are here, this is nowhere near in between your legs. I didn't like how some of my buddies Jackson's or the Vibe or other 10 foot boats, they have a long cockpit to kind of funnel your legs in there. I don't want anything in my in between my legs when I'm fishing on a kayak. Now, with this, it does come with this removable pod right here. If you ask me, and I know the engineers at Bonafide will probably step up to the plate, I think they should put or can put a, a uh, pedal system in here. Look at that big ass hole, um, perfect for a pedal system. And hey man, it's right there, why not do it? Check out those pull stickers in an awesome placement there. Also guys, you can't beat that it's made in the USA. The next big thing, the biggest factor that I've already touched on in other of my videos, in some of my other videos, was the in-hole storage. Coming from a boat that had virtually none, um, it is again, a night and day difference. I can fit so much freaking stuff in this kayak hole that it's unreal. We can fit pretty much anything you need overnight. Broken rods if they break, long rods. So much room inside here in a 10 foot boat. Don't get me wrong, again, I think a lot of y'all forget. Yes, other kayaks may have bigger in-hole hatches or more in-hole space, but I am talking about a 10 foot boat. I don't think any other one on the market has this much in-hole storage. Another cool thing about the hatch is that it's completely removable so you can kind of hang it off to the side of the kayak there when you are putting in big things. So on camera with one hand I will be putting an 8 foot swim bait rod in here out of the way. So you can put it in right there, slide it down, push it down, boom. 8 foot swim bait rod in here and again that's one of about 15 things that can fit. Definitely feels like and looks like somebody who kayak fishes built and designed this boat. Um, you gotta remember I'm a kayak angler in rivers. I mainly do rivers, skinny rivers, wide rivers, grand rivers, small rivers, creeks, streams, you name it. When you're having 
rods and things of that up in the air pointing up things can get in the way so having a boat that has this you know kind of protective rod um sleeves here where you can put your rods attached here they're not going to go anywhere they're not going to shake off they're not going to get stuck on a branch and you they're secure they're tight they're out of the way you've got these rod tip protectors over here your boat is going to pretty much hit anything first like rocks trees bank whatever before your rod tips and then whenever you're doing just a quick letdown or an easy rapid it's got this right here and these grooves on the hatch that actually catch and keep your rods kind of in place and you know prevent them from bouncing around also got piggybacking on the whole out of the way for going down rapids and stuff is i love the paddle keep on the bonafide check it out nice and tight your paddle's not going anywhere and in high position it's got these little like excess bars here that are used to sit on this um seat holder in low position it actually catches that um paddle pretty awesome so you can sit here and have the paddle completely out the way so you can fish and not be obstructed by your paddle another thing guys the 10 foot boat does not come with the junk drawer but you know dang well i ordered it and when i get it i will add it looks pretty simple to add tank storage here i mean it's your standard tank storage it is pretty big i don't know how many inches that is let me see let me grab my ruler hog trough so if you want to get technical with it resting here I mean, that's a good 30 inch tank well there. I can fit my J crate in here, no problem. This is a 10 foot boat, so that's 30 inches right there. That's almost two, that's over two feet of tank storage. Let's compare that with my pilot here. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm expecting this to be more, but nope, check that out. That's a 30 inch tank well as well. So you're talking about a 10 foot boat with the same storage as a 12 foot tank well, the rear. So pretty cool. Prince really quick, look, there is my J crate. Perfectly, you know, sat in the storage area. Obviously not bungee down. And there's enough for like a soft cooler back here for keeping your drinks cold, uh, adult beverages, whatever you need. You've still got about five or six inches of storage back here with the J crate. If you don't have a J crate, which is a little bit bigger than your standard kayak crate, you'll even have more room if you have a kayak crate instead of something like a J crate. Hey guys, I am not gonna uh, hold back on the Bonafide just because it's a nice new shiny boat. Look at that nice shiner right there. <clears throat> I mean, I've already dragged, you know, dragged it, drug it, however you say that, a couple of miles probably. Um, on the bottom so we will see if that drag test holds true i will say some of the limestone rocks down here we have in texas are gonna put some nice gashes in these boats we will see how the ss 107 holds up now because like i promised we're gonna talk about the shortcomings I'm not okay now i'm gonna talk about what i think isn't gonna last over time but i'm sure bonafide will either address it or replace it as time progresses so I don't know that it might be just unique to mine, but some of the foam padding on mine, I don't know that it was adhered or placed down properly. Um, and some of the corners are already coming up. I do live in Texas. It is hot as hell. It's been triple digits for the pretty much most portion of July. Um, now we're into August. And um, some of the corners, again, I've only used it four or five times. Some of the corners are already peeling. Like if I tried really hard, I could probably pull this whole thing off again over time i don't think that's gonna last on the decking that had any issues of low uh or, or not as well adhered um other than right here on this one maybe from stepping back on this side it's good oh nope a little bit there and then i noticed big time up here in the front um where the paddle goes and i think this paddle keep here when i'm shoving that paddle in here over time i think that's going to lift up and i don't think it's going to last again i'm just speculating i'm just guessing but i don't think those pads if they weren't adhered properly will last but i'm sure bonafide will replace them okay the next thing that i was like what the heck it's been 1400 on a boat and you don't get a cup holder come on so i did have to go out and purchase my own yak attack gear track and yak attack cup holder i did want it out of the way out of sight out of mind placed it right here on this pad or i did get the yak attack um removable uh 
cup holder and place it right here behind my seat. So it's not obstructing my uh, paddling. It's not obstructing um, or not in the way of when I'm landing a fish. It's out of sight, out of mind, but it does hold my drinks and keep them from spilling in the boat. And then lastly, guys, lastly, 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 total speculation, and I do think Bonafide will replace it when the time comes, is these, um, I don't really know what to call them, these track holders for your seat on the Bonafide to change it from high to low. Obviously, this little rail system here, uh, it kind of catches the uh, foot pegs of the actual seat. I don't know that that's going to last in the texas summers riding hard sitting in low and high and switching it and opening it and closing it if you look at it here it's pretty thin that's a thin piece of plastic i think the over and over and over of opening and closing opening and closing i think this little nub right here is going to wear down or that's going to wear down and um, it's not going to stay locked it might fall back down but it looks pretty simple to remove there's a screw there uh looks like a screw there uh, looks like a five to ten minute replacement job and I don't think it's very expensive to play replace and I'm sure Bonafide will warranty it if it does happen to break. The, my last tiny little complaint about the S, SS107 is the way the hatch is secured. Um, I did borrow from AC Chaos Canoe and Kayak the, one, the, 20, the 1207 for um, an overnight trip to get a feel of how I feel the kayak's gonna you know handle in the water um, and the actual 12 foot boat bona fide boat um come with these latches the same as this one right here on the uh this little hatch here on the 10 footer it has these lock mechanisms right here and i feel like they're a little bit more sturdy they're a little bit better and a little bit more secure than this i don't like this this rubber on the 10 foot i just i don't understand why they changed it i feel like you could put that right here and call it a day this right here it's just i don't know that it's gonna like always i think from the constant pushing it in i think it's gonna want to stay in just being formed over and over and over and it's not going to want to sit flush in there so again the ss1 or 1207 or whatever or 127 sorry has the latches that look like that on all three latch points the 10 foot is a completely different latch mechanism and I don't know that it's the best or the most um, convenient to use like those other ones. Thanks again for the support guys and we will see you on the next one.